In this video I wanted to talk more about the rules and conditions, how can we define which animation plays. If we going from a different section of the site to a page that has a completely different layout, because in our case these two pages share the same layout so the animation is fine, but if we go to the project detail page we want to animate these links away and then bring the back to categories link from invisible to fully visible. Okay, so we want to have a different animation when we go to this detail page and also if we're leaving this detail page we want to again move the categories link down and animate the project title away as well so that's slightly different animation than we have between these two pages. So how was this set up? Let's find out. Firstly we'll need to fix the once animation, the enter animation because it works fine on the index and architecture because we have two links and then the projects but when we are on the detail page our once animation, the end animation doesn't really work we only have one link and we have no projects we have a hero container and for that reason we need to create a new timeline to reveal the detail page okay so for that I've already pre-made the reveal project timeline which sets the hero to auto alpha one and that will make the content visible and then we're animating the elements inside of it and returning a timeline. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail of this timeline but it will be the main focus of this video is when are we using the reveal project, when are we using the leave to project and leave from project. Okay so different timelines are imported or added to the index JS inside of the animations folder and then we can import them inside of the app JS and use them inside of different transitions with different rules. Let's firstly rename the first transition, give it a name general transition, this will be used on any other page, we'll call it general transition and then we will create a new transition just specific for the detail page, okay we'll call it detail and inside of it we firstly worry about the once transition so when the page loads for the first time we want to reveal it with a slightly different timeline that we've already created and inside of the once hook we want to reuse the reveal project okay this time again we'll passing the next dot container that's the page coming in that's the container coming in on the first page load and if we review this in the browser we will see the correct animation and revealing the project with the right elements. So how does Barba know which animation to play? We have two hooks once and Barba actually takes the last one that has been declared. Okay, so we have two objects and if we move the second one to the top, declare it first, then the second one will override it. So think about it as a style sheet the second animation or hook defined with the same conditions or same strength that we will get to it a little bit later but for now if we just swap these two we'll see that the general transition will be applied for our detail page okay so that's that's not what we want we want to make sure that the detail always plays the once transition that has the reveal project timeline and for that we will need to define a two condition or two rule. We will say when we are going to the detail page, to the detail namespace, we want to play the reveal project transition. Okay, so this will make this detail page or detail transition stronger and it will not be overwritten by the general transition. And if we go to index or architecture pages and refresh the page, you see the default general transition, the ones hook being applied to these two pages. So that's how you use the rules inside of transitions to define more specific rules for some of the transitions to apply to specific parts of your site. With that in mind we can complete and include also the leave transition or leave hook when we are leaving any page to detail page we want to use the leave to project transition or animation so we're changing and using the other timeline 
So that is one that's leave and when we are entering we want to play the same timeline as the once. Okay, so if we are entering into detail, we want to play the same transition, which is inside of the reveal project function. Okay, so same timelines for the once and enter. We are playing reveal project. And when we are leaving the first two pages, the two categories pages, we want to use the leave to project timeline okay so these are the rules for the transitions and uh, hooks let's save it view it in a browser and we should see much smoother this is the generic transition between these two pages but as soon as we go to the detail page this page will animate out different way the links will hide and the page detail page will reveal the same way as on the in the once hook okay so that's the difference between using two different timelines or different transitions between different sections of the site okay hope that makes sense i try to be really clear of how we are using different sets of hooks between these two pages and how we are leaving this page in a different fashion when we're going to the detail page now let's recap what we've done in this video. We're including three more timelines inside of the animations folder. They are used for different entering and leaving, different, part, different parts of the section or the site. And then inside of the barba init we've created, we've added one more transition. Firstly, it was the same strength or same specificity as the general transition. So the one that is include it in the transitions array later we'll always override the previous one and then we made the transition to the detail page stronger by specifying the rule to when we're going to the namespace detail and this rule makes this transition stronger or more specific that's why barba is using it and then inside of the once leave and enter we've defined precisely which timelines to use when we are going to the detail page okay so hopefully that makes sense and as a challenge for you i would like you to try to make animation or new timeline or new rule new transition when we go from the detail page back to the index okay so let's try to create new transition and animate the back to categories link away and then show these two revealing like they're revealing on a page load okay so we want to tweak it a little bit here is the final result and i'll share with you in the next video how i did that when we're going back from this page to the detail page or index page we are revealing we are hiding the link and then showing these two from invisible okay so a little bit different transition again customized transition playing at the right time when we are leaving the details page and entering the index we want to play a different timeline okay the timeline itself is already created so if you are following me on my site then you have the snippets under the video and we want to use this leave from project at the right time when we are leaving the detail page okay so let's try to set up new transition specific for that scenario see if you can do it and i'll do it in the next video